Good morning. Welcome to another hot episode of Monday Morning Coffee with Josh. So this morning, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And due to the, the time, times that we're going through, the season of holidays and Christmas, I thought it would be appropriate to break out some good old hot cocoa. Um, because nothing is more delicious than sugar, chocolate, and boiling water to get you going in the morning. So today, got a little packet of uh, good old Swiss Miss with some marshmallows in it. I like the marshmallows. Uh, I also like the family dynamic that's going on in this photo. It's a mother with her daughter. It's very sweet. The Swiss Miss classic brings families together. So without further ado, let's try some of this Swiss Miss. Mmm, that's mm, still pretty hot. Mmm. It's a very chocolatey cup of hot chocolate. Uh, the big thing when you're making hot chocolate is you want to get the chocolate to water ratio. If you got too much water in there, it's going to be tasting like chocolatey water, which is pretty gross. If you get the right amount in there, it tastes really good. You can also boil milk if you're getting really classy. Uh, a little extra calories but it's totally worth it. So I would give Swiss Miss like an eight or a nine. It's not like high quality hot cocoa, but it's a good price. So there's that. So this week, getting right into it, um, dealing with the times of the season, you get my Kris Kringle on, my facial hair. Um, I wanted to kind of talk about life and balance because this next three weeks or so can get pretty crazy and stressful for lots of people, uh, especially if you're end of the year stuff at work, uh, dealing with trying to keep your fitness goals on track, planning parties, buying presents, uh, trying to appease a lot of people. It can add a lot of stress in life. And we as human beings spend a lot of times trying to do too much and then get disappointed when we fail to meet to our standards. And <clears throat> So I drew this picture right here to see, so I don't mind any of this, this is random notes. It's uh, the work-life balance. Um, essentially, having the ability to balance work and life. So leaving work at work, leaving life at life, having a nice balance. Sometimes, let's say at the end of the year, or you're working in taxes. Of course, the beginning of the year is extremely stressful with work, takes away from life. Uh, but then in other parts of the year where, it's, where your work isn't as crazy, you can spend more time in your life zone. So dealing with the holidays, I kind of broke down what we call um, your life balance. I'll show you it real quick. It's pretty confusing in some ways. So the very top one is life ideal. Um, you have your family, you have your friends, you have workouts, your hobbies, your personal life, your spiritual life, and just kind of random ass that happens throughout your life. Um, I kind of messed up on this, but as you can see, in an ideal world, you can spend a lot of time in every category with ideally randomness being really low. Um, this would be ideal because you can meet all your goals. Well, none of us really live in that place. So the other one I have down here is what I call holiday living. As you can see, uh, randomness is very high. Family's high. Friends are high. Uh, hobbies are low. Spiritual time is kind of low. Workouts are low. Uh, personal time can also be very low. So that's kind of what you're looking at during these times of the month is you're focusing a lot on family, friends, just random stuff that pops up, like kind of go to the grocery store and get such and such. Um, it doesn't leave a lot of time for maybe your personal time or working out. So it can be kind of, it can be stressful for certain types of people. Um, but knowing that going in can be very helpful. And then as I get down here, I got the January 1st time. Looks kind of weird. This is ideal. We have a lot of time so family kind of drops down a little bit, friends drop down a little bit, working out increases a crap ton, hobbies uh, increase a little bit, but not crazy, personal time goes up a little bit, spiritual stays about the same, and randomness ideally kind of drops back down, allowing you to spend a little more time on you. Um, this is just kind of how life is. It's, it, it's, you gotta kind of roll with the punches a lot in life but the crazy thing, for the most part, life repeats itself. So we know uh, Thanksgiving to the New Year's 
it's not gonna be the best time to make hard pushes towards lifting goals unless you want to sacrifice some maybe fr family friend or personal lifetime um, but we also know that January 1st where those holidays are be be behind us we can maybe then focus a little more time less on the family friend aspect um, and then more on your workouts and so on. so I hope that makes sense to you um, if you have any questions uh, please leave them below or if you have any more comments down below and again always reach out to me at josh at williamstradingsystems.com and feel free to check out my website which i urge you to do at williamstradingsystems.com have a wonderful day and i will see you next week